international team. Uh, we'll start with some comments from Captain Trevor Rummelman, and then uh, if you have questions for any others in the team, please raise your hand, we'll get you a mic. But Trevor, if we could start you off with a comment about your team. Well, I'm extremely proud to be sitting up here with these 16 other warriors. We've had an amazing week here in Charlotte. Really, it's been a, a, a pretty incredible couple of years. You consider when I was made captain, there was no such thing as a pandemic. <laughs> there were a few other things that weren't around as well. And so, uh, you know, we've had a lot of hurdles to get to this point. But the gentlemen you see on this table right here have always been committed to playing for the Shield and being here in Charlotte. And they played some incredible golf, some inspired golf. And they kept fighting all the way down to the end. Even when the result was known, they kept fighting. So, I'm extremely humbled and proud to be sitting up here with them and I thank them for everything they've done for our team. All right, we'll take questions and we'll start with uh, Bob in the front. Trevor, obviously other than winning the trophy, did you achieve what you set out to do? What yes and no. And there were multiple goals that we had uh, my wife and I had set out at the start of this process. I would say we checked off uh, all of them, except leaving here with a trophy. Go Cameron and then Dave. Uh, this is for Cam Davis and Tom Kim. Uh, what did you guys learn about yourselves this week that you can take forward into competitions? Uh, not, not necessarily these types of competitions, but re regular tournaments. I mean, I kind of see this week as sort of the benchmark in terms of high pressure situations um, in my career so far. I haven't experienced anything like this before, but it was great to see some good golf come out when the pressure was really on. I think all of us experienced something that we haven't quite experienced at this point unless we have been in contention in a major. I think a lot of us younger guys trying to get as many of those experiences as we can and this is just a massive stepping stone and learning about yourself you're in a high pressure situation four days in a row um, and you're learning a lot about yourself and I think we learned a lot of really good things about ourselves to take forward because this was awesome I mean we all want to be a part of this in the future because this was probably one of the most enjoyable experiences of our lives so it's been unreal we'll go Dave and then to Shane uh, for Adam please Adam, right here. Um, you guys came in, obviously, as heavy underdogs and gave the, gave the American team a good tussle. Really, really tested them the last two days. I'm wondering if you did them a little bit of a favor by showing them that they got to work for these. I mean, both here and in the Ryder Cup, you know, they still have to go out and play. And, and you know, if they, if they face a team with, with a little bit of heart, I mean, it's not easy. Absolutely. This team's got plenty of heart, and that's thanks to uh, everything Trevor's put in the last couple of years. He's bled for this shield that we now talk about, and it's just the beginning for this team, really. I think he's seeing a lot of guys here who will be returning on the next one, and if they don't, they will have tried their ass off to get on this team. And the week when they put it together and they've got the heart, I think the U.S. team's really going to be up for a hell of a fight. Do you think that helped the U.S. too in saying, do you think that also helped America in that they recognize that and they have to work for it? I think if they, if they didn't recognize that, then yesterday they found out because yesterday afternoon we came in strong and there was some world-class golf from Cam and Tom and many others up here. And... Uh, that was these guys' opportunity to show the world how good they are, and they'll be doing it again in a couple of years. We'll go Shane and then Alex. Um, question for Siwoo. Um, that was quite a fight today, and um, you had some really poetic remarks after about what it means to you, but um, being put out in that first spot, what did it mean to you, and how tense was that match at the end? 
Yeah, I had a match a couple of years ago at WGC, and I know it. Uh, he's a really good player, and then it was I was the first match. It was really kind of pressure to me, but I still I just I just I was just keep trying to keep positive, and then I know it's a first match is important. Bring the one point. So yeah, I was the only focus for the first point, and then one point. And Trevor, um, did you learn, do you feel like you learned something tactically from this past four days? Is there anything immediately that you recognize that maybe if you had a chance to do it over, you might do it differently? I'm always learning. This team is always learning. Um, I think from a strategic standpoint, it played out exactly how we wanted it to. We just fell a little short in the end. Go Alex and then Doug. This is for Adam and for Mike Weir. Um, you two will eventually, most likely, be captains at some point. Right here, Mike. Sorry. You'll be captains at some point down the road. And the question is, is the hurdles, some of the hurdles that Trevor mentioned earlier, which I'm assuming is live, um, do you think those are things that need to be addressed before you become captain so that you can get the best 12 international players on your teams? Well, um, you know, I, d I don't think there's anything we can do about that, uh, that specific question. I think we have a great core here, and we'll be discussing ways to continue to make our team better, to con continue to evolve. Um, as Adam said, Trev did an amazing job this week. We'll continue to build on it. We're very cohesive, and uh, there's not one captain. We're, we're all, Trev is the captain this year for sure and the leader of this team, but we're a big unit, and we'll brainstorm together how to make this even better. Uh, go ahead. I'd be curious, um, Adam, and, and also for, for Trevor, way over here, Adam, way left, sorry. Um, you, you talked about desire to get back and, and uh, motivation for the next one. I wonder if you can compare uh, the feeling you have now compared with how you felt when you left Melbourne three years ago. Ultimately, somewhat similar, I guess. I mean, if you, if you don't win, and that's what we came here to do, there's that disappointment. And uh, I guess the disappointment can differ slightly. We were up against it. We put ourselves in a hole here this week. In Melbourne, we were much more in control. And it still hurts not to win. Uh, I think the big difference I've felt the last couple of years is what's going on in our team room, what's going on between the captains and the players, the caddies, everybody involved on our team. Uh, I think good things are really starting to happen in that environment. And once some of these players who sit here for the first time or the second time start playing a few more and teams that bond forms over years, I think we're not going to leave here disappointed. A cup is coming our way soon. Ben in the middle. And then... Uh, but Scotty's hit, hit the nail on the head there. You know, there we were leading all week and we were much better position. And so uh, that one was, was really tough to swallow on the Sunday night. This week, you know, we were in a tough spot on, uh, on Friday and we showed a lot of guts to fight back. And at, at some point, I don't know about you guys, but at some point this afternoon, I thought there was still a chance. And when you consider that we were 8-2 down on Friday evening. This team is no joke. And I'm sick and tired of it being spoken of as a joke. We love this event and we love our team and we cannot wait to run this back and have another shot. 
Go ahead, Ben. Mate, that segues into my question for you. Uh, do you see yourself coming back again in Montreal in some capacity? Are you excited to do that, um, you know, personally? Because clearly everybody has responded to your efforts this week. Look, it's too soon to tell. We are going to go back as a unit and uh, decide how we will move forward with the next few venues. And then uh, we will let the PGA Tour know what our plan is. Okay, we'll go in the front here and then at the back. Question for Trevor. Considering the conversation of who wasn't here and then the emotions of getting back into it, how will you look upon this week? I'll have great memories of this week, always, always and forever. The bonds we formed this week were, were so good. We had so much fun. We had so much fun at the hotel. We had so much fun on the bus rides, in the team rooms, with, with, with the support staff, with the cops that were looking after us, with the canine unit that was looking after us and, and, and hanging around. We, we had a blast. This city of Charlotte has treated us so well, uh, not just this week, but on our trip here a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, you know, these are friendships for a lifetime. Friendships for a lifetime. Do a couple more, one at the back and one at the okay, front. Okay, uh, this is for Sebastian. Uh, Sebastian, how do you feel beating the number one, uh, number one in the world? And also after you beating Scotty on number 17, how do you feel uh, hugging your parents and your sister and your friends? <laughs> um, it felt great. I mean, uh, I knew I had to give it everything out of me to, to play with him and his world ranking. Uh, but, you know, I focused, my focus was up there. I, I played with a lot of passion. I played from the heart. I played, you know, like not shying away from the moment. And, and it paid off, you know, and it felt really good. It felt, it felt great. It felt like I could compete. It felt like we can compete as a unit and nothing. It felt really good. And for Captain uh, Trevor, what do you think, what are your thoughts about the spirit of your team today, about the passion, that the comeback was close? Yeah, it was great. It was great. I can't tell you that I'm surprised, though, to be honest. I've seen the fight in these guys uh, throughout the course of the year, but particularly in the last three weeks or so, since our team was eventually finalized. And so I'm not surprised. Like I said... These are great athletes up here, and this team is no joke. And we'll fight till the end, every single time we put the shield on. That's what this team stands for. We'll wrap it up with Evan. Go ahead. Trevor, just over here, Trev. Uh, the reason the Americans are so successful is because every time they show up to a cup, there are systems in place that were put in place years before that. Do you feel like you're getting closer to that stage where this team is thought of years in advance? Yes, we are. And that's why you'll see a lot of um, similarities. You know, you can see it already from 19. If you look at the captains that are up here, uh, you know, minus Ernie, it's the same core. And we brought in Camillo this time. Uh, and so, you know, we have a system that we like and a plan and a strategy. And it feels like to me, you know, this was an important week for us just to... Just lay a couple more bricks in this house that we're trying to build. We're here for the long run in this event. We're going to win this event. So we'll keep building. We'll keep fighting. At some point, we're going to win. Uh, just, just to follow up, anything immediately that sticks out to you that should be put in place before Montreal? We, get, we need the dust to settle a little more. I need to speak to the other captains, the other players, uh, have some open, honest conversations and um, follow us on social media, you'll find out. All right, thank you everybody, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your international team. <laughs>